Welcome everybody, I'm Alexander Linz, head of content of WatchAdvisor.com and today I'm welcoming you from the headquarters of Blancpain in the Vallée de Joux. It's in the Swiss Jura Mountains and uh, you can hear it from the noise behind me, there is a river and uh, the snow is melting up there so it's uh, pretty much water coming down from these mountains here. And the occasion why I'm here is that we are now presenting you the novelties of Blancpain and as you probably know, the Swatch Group this year did not attend the Basel World, um, World uh, Watch World and Jewelry Exhibition and that's the reason we are about one month late with those presentations of the novelties, but it's only today that I was able to really see them and to discover them myself. So I have a pleasure now to present you some very classical Villaret watches from Blancpain and I I'm sure you will very much like them because these watches very much reflect the style what people are looking today. So, as I just introduced, um, Blancpain is getting back to a segment of watches or is bringing uh, uh, some watches on the market this year that really very much reflect the taste of today and the taste of today is slim and not too small and uh, let's say very classical look. Here we have the Villaret model, an ultra slim model. It's a hand wound movement with 96 hours of power reserve. And if you see this Blancpain, what does it remember you? If you have been uh, following what Blancpain has been doing the last years, of course, this is the very typical and famous face what Blancpain stands for in the segment, of course, of. Uh, traditional and classical watchmaking. We're not talking about the sports watches, we're not talking about the 50 Fathoms or the 50 Fathom Batiscaf, that is another phase, but the traditional classical elegant look of Blancpain is this. And when I saw the watches, I really got goosebumps because it's many, many years ago when I uh, first saw these watches, when Blancpain was starting again, bringing back mechanical watches on the markets after the quartz crisis. These were those models we have been seeing and enjoying very much. I, I like it, look how thin the watch is. It's a really elegant watch and you don't need more than this. It shows you the time. There is no date indication. Okay, you don't need that. You have a mechanical movement. It is hand wound, as I already told you, 96 hours of power reserve and it's a 40 millimeter watch that perfectly, really perfectly goes under the sleeves of your shirt. And if you're not sure how much power reserve is left, they put the little power reserve indicator on the back side of the movement. In this case, it's about, yes, half full, so still some good 48 hours to go. The same model, the same ultra slim or uh, ultra fin is also available 18 karat, 18 karat red gold, karat red gold. So it's the same watch, but in a gold case. Um, it's the same typical and very much known look of Blancpain. We uh, have just been talking about very nice wristwatch, very thin, very elegant, there's nothing to doubt, hand wound movement and that little power reserve indicator on one of the main plates. Very nice execution and very nice watch and very much in the style of what people are looking today because sizes, especially thickness, is getting less. The sizes still stay 39, 40 millimeters. That's a good size for today. And if you are traveling and if you want to have a UTC GMT watch or a second zone time watch, this would be a watch you probably very much like, also taken out of the Villery collection. The watch has a date indication and it is an absolutely fully functional GMT watch. So if you are fed up with your whatever GMT or UTC watch and you want an elegant version for traveling and if you are more into elegant and refined looks, this is the watch I would propose you. And if you now think that this is a gimmick watch and, uh, se and uh, second zone time functions are just applied on the dial but they are not working correctly, I would uh, invite you to have a closer look. So now let's have a closer look on the dial of that uh, GMT or second zone time watch uh, from the Villeray collection. Um, in the moment, local time here in Switzerland, in the Vallée de Joux, in Le Brassu is a quarter to four o'clock in the afternoon. You see this on the main dial uh, with the hand 
with the hands showing you the minutes and the hours, it's the 15th today. And the little red arrow that is pointing at almost 1600 or uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, it's a 24 hour scale, that's the um, second zone time indication if you are in local time modus as we are now or when you travel then that's that's your indication of your home time so i have been synchronizing those what this watch and it uh, both um, dials do in fact show the same time <clears throat> and now if we start traveling or start traveling if we arrive somewhere i always take the example of new york it's six hours in New York, you have daylight saving time. We have daylight saving time here in Europe. So it's about the change. It's not about. It is a change of six hours. And the only thing then you have to do when you arrive in uh, New York, you will pull out the crown into the first position. First position, not the second position. And what you see, neither the the, the second, uh, the seconds are stopping. And uh, by now, starting to turn back the. How the hour hand in one hour steps we will not influence the correctly indicated minute. And what you will see is if I go back six hours, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's local time in New York. So it is a quarter to 10 o'clock. And we have seen that the little red arrow stayed at its position almost at four o'clock and so we are in New York and if we look at our watch we see it's 10 o'clock local time and at home without thinking six o'clock is easy to calculate of course but without thinking we can see at one uh, just at one brief look on the dial it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon and of course since this is an intelligent product and not a gimmick watch the date is of course linked to the main dial and to the home time, uh, to the local time, not to the home time. So I will go back these six hours now. So we are going back to Switzerland time. Now it's back in, yes, Switzerland time. And let us continue now. And it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve o'clock. And now we will see the date changing to the 16th. So it is the 16th now indicated on the dial and so it is absolutely the, uh, clearly that the date has to be linked to the main dial and to your local uh, to your local time so if you travel you will always have indicated the correct time so a very functional and very smart and very clever uh, made GMT watch from Blancpain it has an, features an automatic movement and still pretty thin absolutely 40 millimeters of diameter and very nice and as I already told you it's the face of Blancpain when I see this watch it's the face it's the face of Blancpain I look at it it's the face of Blancpain and it really remembers me of those times when Blancpain started to do these watches there's also a second version of the watch I will not again show all the functions of the GMT or UTC or second zone time watch that's the version in 18 karat red gold it's absolutely the same watch as I just described, features the same functions, features the same movement, is the same thin and elegant watch, but the watch in 18 karat red gold and a watch that is very elegant and, and will perfectly fit, I swear, perfectly fit underneath your um, sleeves with your shirt and will not destroy them because it's very thin and very, very smooth, the surfaces. So these are the watches, once again, look, elegance, pure elegance, that's really a watch. Oh my goodness. We should come back to this simple beauty of watches indicating the time, that's all we need. And if we are traveling, in the end, that's all we need is some of a watch like this with an indication of our home time. If we are not willing to calculate it, we just look on the dial. So I will give you some prices, of course. Um, starting uh, with the Villare Ultra Slim in steel, 9,500 <coughs> Swiss francs, including the 7.7% uh, uh, of VAT here in Switzerland. Uh, this is the version in steel. Uh, in red gold, the same watch, Ultra Platt, Ultra Fin in red gold, it's 17,000 Swiss francs, including the 7.7% of VAT Swiss francs, 17,000. Swiss francs. 
the GMT or Villaray GMT as they call them in steel is 11,200 Swiss francs, 11,200 Swiss francs. You always have to consider that these are in-house manufactured uh, movements of a manufacturer that is belongs to the auto luxury sector. So all the movement has been decorated and has been really treated um, in a very, very special way. So you have a lot of surface treatments and it has a gold rotor. So it's really an exclusive and very nice watch. And um, the same watch, uh, the Villaray date uh, uh, on GMT in red gold is sold for 20,000 and 200 watches, uh, 200 Swiss francs, 20,200 watches. Alexander, what kind of, <laughs> what are you talking about? 20,200 Swiss francs, of course, this watch is sold in red gold. Very nice. I have to say, I really like this kind of watches. And it's a little bit of uh, coming back to the roots and coming back to good style and elegance once again. So, very, I say, Thank you very much for watching. If you like what we're doing, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to like our videos. And if you have, if you have any comments or questions to make about these watches, please don't hesitate. Use the comment, sec comment section that is just right underneath here and ask me and I will be more than happy to, ask, uh, to come back to you and, uh, and uh, give you the feedback you wanted to have. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and bye-bye for now.